This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple, man. Man, my people, hope everybody in okay, hope everybody in all right. It's another Monday, happy Monday. New beginnings are available for all of us over 50 times a year. They are called Mondays. Yeah, man, so big up on yourself, pan to them Monday. I'm going to tell somebody something right now. If you have the right mindset, you can be happy on Monday as you are on Friday. Yeah, man, with the right mindset, anything is possible. If you don't believe me, look for me again. I'm not telling no lie. I'm proud of our people. I'm not stop saying so. You see that medal of me again, win? Are the best medal for Jamaica so far the Olympics. You can argue with yourself in the comment section. Nobody can tell me nothing. You never the plan to get that one there and you get it. You see, you see jump up and down and go on. I saw me like when people win them little medal and them can come out and say, Yo, me been through enough. Remember, all the time she dropping up. Me know some man who never know about it because me all the follow the chuck and feel. Me remember when she usually drop. Yes, people, all the progress she drop over and the people then me think so better where she loves this running thing. Cash the toe shot. Anyway, we can go to the news. 23 year old Mikhail Robinson, otherwise called Burger of Friendship District, Wade Field in Chilani, was charged with wounded intent after allegedly chopped a man on his hand on Tuesday, July 27. Yeah, people. Big E that police them will break up for them slap him with. The police said Robinson had another man had a dispute in his community during which he used a machete to chop the complainant on his right hand. The police were alerted and the man was taken to the hospital where he was admitted in stable condition. The incident happened at about 2.15 p.m. Robinson later turned himself into the police station where he was subsequently charged for the offense. Well, and you know. Well, and the big bad man burger accused him. I can't that the police them really I tell me say him turn himself in. Why the police them never say yo we don't really want you and let him go and go slap him right after. Boy like this stuff will get a chance to go behind bars, go eat no three square meals a day. No, 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 police so now waste time. Hold on now, my people, we can go to some news update. 25 year old Ailey Russell of Pee Wee Lane, Westmoreland, has been charged with murder of 24 year old Nadine Dyer, who went missing with her four year old daughter on June 5th, 2017. Yeah, man, we know see a long time, but we still have many people them know exactly where we're going. Reports of the relative report Dyer and her four year old daughter missing and an investigation comments. The Police then processed the house of Dyer where the decomposed body was found in multiple stab wounds. A whole heap of tabs, she did get paper, yeah, man. Them time I me mean, never had a read news, you know, but me can't tell them exactly where go on because me that listen to TV when they talk about it. The murder is believed to be committed between April 23rd and June 2nd, 2017. On April 23rd, 2017, Russell traveled to the United States where he was arrested for a crime he committed there. So, as he said, this boy is a serial killer paper. The police said he was deported to on July 29, 2021, and on August 1st, 2021, a warrant was executed on him. Hold on, hold on, make I ask the government something. You see, this boy, you can't start with him, you know, you can't start with him, you don't have to look too far. Fan off the Saboya, eh, yeah, man. Make the thing resume back with the Saboya. You understand, boy, like this stuff in the pan world, you know, pan down. Me, I tell the government the truth. Slap with this Saboya, yeah, that's how the people them want. Well, and you now, people, me have my tool money in my pocket, and me take a walk, go over the ghetto car, big jam over there right now. Police officer from St. Catherine South Division are currently trying to locate two men, yes, people, and I want to the list so good, who robbed a constable in a section of Portmore in the parish on Sunday afternoon. Can't believe them really are robbed police. The lawman was assigned to the Cayman as police station, was robbed of his firearm containing 17 rounds of ammunition and 25,000 in cash. Yeah, people, they robbed the police. Them take everything the police have, people, they left him pocket empty. Police report at about 3.20 p.m., the 54-year-old, after leaving his farm, where he had gone to check on his animal stop along a section of Grange Lane to correct a mechanical issue which his vehicle had developed. While the police made checks, armen approached him from behind and instruct him to lay face down on the ground. Yeah, people, they put him in the ground, fill it down. You understand all in teeth, dirty depan. Anyway, the constable received minor injury as he was kicked in his lower back by one of the men. Both men escaped on foot after the attack. And take him, go down, take him, look up his money. Another one, price the dust. And now my 
people who can't take a walk but not climb down. Let's say climb down and nobody represent them at the Olympics. And that's why down there full of so much crime and violence. So only the feels say. Because gold medal are in the Olympics, the crime and violence never like continue. Only make a sad mistake. And brazen daylight shooting that left one man dead on Sunday in Yorktown, Clarendon. As the night a call by the Council of the Yorktown Division for a plan of action to address the crime in the community. The deceased have been identified as 48 year old farmer O'Neill McLean, otherwise called Hunter. Yes, people, the man them hunt down Hunter and slap him away. Watch it now, people, I tell him the truth. It was reported at about 11.15 a.m. McLean and his friend was at his farm in Yorktown when they were pounced upon by mass gunmen who opened fire eating McLean several times. He was taken to the hospital dead, dead, dead. A dead man named Lee for Pancari. The friend reportedly escaped on earth. Well, I don't know. Then this makes sense. This no make no sense whatsoever. Me I be honest with you know. On the day called Emancipation Day, a day when our forefather fought for us to be free, it is heartrending and disturbing to know that persons can go out and shoot someone who is just trying to make a living. Your people are not the counselor saying no. He was on his farm looking after his animal and gunmen just pounced upon him and shot him and kill him. That our the counselor tell the people man I make we know say the man them. Wicked. Demand them in the community. Wicked can them know him. But me, I wonder. In front we run. I wonder if he is apartheid. Hmm? I wonder if not even one little bullet grace him or nothing. Then that no makes sense, people. Me, I be honest with you. Know. The crime has been plaguing the community for years and residents have been calling for the matter to be addressed. Who no not want it addressed if you don't come out, come talk. Who no not keep on the mouth shut. Only when it reach on the doorstep, we don't no come and I talk about, yo, we need this and we need that, we don't need no help. The yard town that we are hoping to come back to is getting worse and worse. Crime is plaguing the community and citizens are sick and tired of it. Children are hurt because some of them are going without a mother or a father just because of the power of the gun. Well, and that all away counselor is saying about counselor. I feel like saying no exactly what I'm going to know some of them thiefing boy at you know, and some of them butter criminal. Yeah. Because people must tell you who them be. We understand, but no fun afraid for talk. You know the division better than the councillor. Yes, me I be honest with you. So the councillor say increased police presence and a gun recovery strategy might be effective in bringing peace to the troubled community. The only way to curb the violence is to get rid of the guns. The gunmen have the guns, and you catch them, lock them up a million times, and their gun is still out and still doing harm. A long time me I said this in a councillor. A long time me I said them I pick them up and now call it no gun. You understand? So the same little gun some Mexican man picked up and the same crime. I slap the police, them be slap them away now. The police them need to start slap them way. Tell them to go for the gun and they slap them way. As of July 29, Clarendon has recorded 56 murder and 37 shooting. A whole heap that you know people may be honest with you know. How oh, they must have killed people over Clarendon so like that. Anyway, people can take a walk over St. Thomas because a whole heap of things are going over them. I forgive the people them look up there. The St. Thomas police are probing the death of an elderly man who was reportedly wounded by a relative during a physical dispute between the two of them over some of money that was reportedly stolen in Newland in the parish on Friday. The deceased have been identified as 72 year old Ralph Smith, otherwise called Daddy, a farmer of Newlands in Golden Grove, St. Thomas. Report from the Golden Grove police that at about 5.45 p.m. on Friday, Smith allegedly attacked and wounded a relative who me accused of stealing a sum of money from him. A thus ensure between both men during which the relative reportedly used a stone to eat Smith on the head. Yes, people. The man take up a big stone and clapped Smith in his head, people. The police were alerted on the arrival. Smith was found lying motionless on the ground. Both men were taken to the hospital where Smith was pronounced dead, dead, dead. A dead man they live up here down the still. I know why they feel like they want to tell the people them say they live up and carry down they go pronounce him. I tell him for him is a dead panorama that fool not take people. Relative was admitted for treatment, but guess what? Get him look at treatment and need for let him out so the family can angle him bangle for him. Just as how I take a walk go up a West Rural St. Andrew. One little place named Stone Hill to be exact. We see one man like a jumping jump off a bar stool and we have to wait and warm to him. Or him just jump to the people them say no no no. Him name Beta. I slap the man them come come slap with me about five pieces and change him get. I mess up what Beta could have really do. And that me ask the people them the people them say yo. We are going to drop it in the comment section and the man and the people them carry that say who is Beta. And we Beta they mix up in life. Beta they mix up with people. You may tell you no. Look and read. Yeah, man, the people them are going to come out, come tell you. No. 
You understand? Because I don't want nobody to say I make up my news, you know? Yeah, because we don't make up my news to get no view. We tell the people them exactly where I go on the thing, they don't go up on the news, we don't get it right or so. So all who wants it, be a picture we have it. Yes. Beta T lead on the ground and holy for blood. Yes, paper right in at the bar and jumping jump off of the stool. Ah, oh, show the man them show them off. But anyway, tell a friend, tell another friend, come come check us out, alright?